how dangerous is construction? It depends on if you're doing it or I'm doing it. I'm sure it's a lot safer if you do it. Yeah, yeah, right, right on. That's cool, man. Um, yeah, construction is surprisingly very dangerous. It's a very highly underrated industry for fate, like for for, uh, for fatalities and injuries and things like that. Um, it's just dangerous. It's very, very, very dangerous. In fact, we're going to look at some statistics to compare what it being in the military uh, is like to construction. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot more construction workers probably, and there's a lot more construction than there is war, but we'll look at the years even during war times and, and you'll see that construction workers die at a very, very high rate. <laughs> so, yeah, it's crazy. Um, actually, you know what? That's kind of actually actually a good couple stats. I should. Uh, how many active? Uh, that's a couple other stats. I'm gonna um, military personnel, um, military active military in the. Yeah, we'll go with the U.S. I'm going with U.S. statistics. Oh wow, there's actually a lot more than I thought. 1.4 million active duty. Uh, 30% smaller than it was in 1990 wow that is crazy okay so um i'm gonna also search right now quick for how many construction workers in the u.s in the u.s okay seven million okay so we're gonna keep that in mind so there's almost six times more construction workers but the, the, the statistics are just going to blow you away. 40 ongoing wars of 2021. Really? That many? Holy jeez, man. They don't report on this stuff, eh? Like, they, they really... Like, they'd rather report on all this COVID bullshit. And, like, this stupidity out there. Like, the stupid... All this cancel culture and wokeness. And all, they report on the most ridiculous things. But the things actually matter, right? Like... The news is awful. I can't even stand it anymore. I, oh, man. Like, it's just crazy. I, I, I mean, man. I haven't watched CNN probably in 15 years because it's just a propaganda machine. Like, it is completely fake news. Like, it's fucking everything they have on it is just terrible, right? So, I quit watching CNN probably 15 years ago. I just can't stand it anymore. Um, and, um, yeah, like, and even the other, all the other ones, they're not as, they're not much better, man. They're all kind of going down, right? Like, it's awful, man. There's just no real reporting or anything out there. But anyways, that's not what we're talking about here. Um, so yeah, I want to hear from you guys. Uh, if you guys want to share, um, some stories about you on sites and, um, and, or maybe some close calls or things you've heard of or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I got some pages open here. We'll look at some of the common causes of accidents and stuff like that. Um, myself, like personally, like, um, I, injuries are, yeah, they happen quite often, you know, like whether it's something small, like a little cut on your, on your hand or a pulled muscle or, you know, like, uh, you know, like back strain or, you know, like whatever, like it, they just, they happen quite frequently, eh? Like, you're always, that's the thing about construction, like you're always freaking tired after work and you know, you work really hard, you know, and and you get hurt, you know, it's a part of the job, getting hurt. Can you imagine uh, some office dude, think like, or being a, in like an office job or office person be like, yeah, getting hurt is just part of the job, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, they certainly don't pay us enough for the risks that we take in construction. They certainly do not. We get treated like crap, really. Um, so that's kind of one of the things that I'm like big on. I want to advocate for better wages and safer conditions. You know, that's what I want to, to use my voice with, uh, for, sorry. Um, but yeah, like this, this whole thing just kind of made me like just lately, uh, there's been a lot of things going on, um, like mental health wise with people and, um, it's just been like it's been crazy like uh even like the like there's an alarming uh number of police officers that are getting killed in the states right now like it's crazy it's almost as if the people are not afraid of them anymore at all like and they just literally like don't think about like i think there's um i think 
that uh, in the states their their police deaths are up 106 percent or something like that it's crazy not following safety protocols yeah so it, it's not i wouldn't say necessarily stupidity sometimes yeah but um i would say most often than not it would be um uh, like uh, just not knowing just being just not being aware right um um uh, they they don't take safety as seriously as they should it's a big joke um due diligence is a big joke um all these all these safety certifications and all that like they're just like nobody takes it seriously it's awful companies just it's just a, it's just an expense to them they they don't care they don't care about you you're just a just a worker and a, a, a number right they have everything in place now to pass the buck on to you the worker okay you, like there's lots of legislation out there that it all puts the buck basically on you now right like it's crazy um all the all the companies have to do is do their orientations and um, uh, and and like you know make sure that uh, you're doing your hazard assessments and things like that. But it's up to you to fill them out properly too. Um, and, and and even if you don't fill them out properly and you have an accident, good luck with workers' comp. Like and if you didn't fill out an FLHA, good luck. You're not getting anything. Um, so yeah, we just have a there's a lot. It's stressful. It's stressful for us. You know like. Um, especially, uh, like, um, um, for the guys who like myself who have to do this paperwork every freaking day, it's ridiculous, you know, um, um, like it's just awful. It's awful the way it is right now. It's a joke. It's a money making machine and it's a, and it's a, and it's a save the owner's money, uh, machine. And that's it. It's not a, really about keeping workers safe anymore. I, 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 it's just awful, man. It's crazy. Um. It, yeah anyways <laughs> i'd like to know what your thoughts on that is <laughs> uh we could look um at some statistics i got a couple pages here open um uh boom shagalaga. Oh. yeah baby so seven million uh construction workers in in the united states um to i think it was 1.4 million active duty members uh, in the military okay so uh less than um less than um less less than five times right seven no uh six times less than six so it'd be like five point something times more um but if you look at the the deaths right so uh total okay in 20 2001 12 2002 70 all the way up to 521 7 710 okay 710 in 2010 all right 710 it's still less than a thousand right um and, and and then if you look at the construction workers five thousand three hundred and thirty three workers died on the job in 2019 five thousand three hundred and thirty three workers on the job it doesn't even count all of the guys who are people workers who died because of cancer from working and being exposed right it doesn't count th those guys they don't count it yeah, workers are only numbers in all jobs. It's not just construction. Your boss does not care about you, um, and there is always someone to replace you, right? Yeah, it's pretty much, man. Anybody's replaceable, and um, like it, the, the 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 reason why it's so bad though in construction is because of the the safety. The like it's it's not safe, right? Um, uh, when you go to the office like I mean you know you're, you're, you're like you could slip on some ice maybe on your way in and out but um, yeah like you know you're, you're pretty safe um, but yeah like we just we put we put a lot on the line construction workers we put a lot on the on the line and um, yeah it's really important to know the hazards around you on the job and know the safety protocols and and be shown how to properly use them and implement them um it's um it's just crazy like these statistics are just blow mind-blowing mind-blowing man 
Um, oh, I won't scroll down. So, this is kind of neat here. Um, anyway, so 25 construction safety statistics for 2021. Like, and look at all this shit. Like, man, like, the stupidest thing. Like, honestly, God, honestly, God, guys, like, the stupidest thing in the world is tying off inside of a lift, inside of a basket. If that sucker goes down, you're gone. No matter what. No, that, that, that line is not going to save your life. You are gone. The only reason why they make you tie into the basket, okay, is, well, there's two reasons. One is if you say you're driving and you hit a bump, you don't get ejected, which is stupid. That has never happened. I've never seen it happen. Never even heard of it happening. It's just a myth, honestly. Like, um, But the actual real reason why is silly. It's so they can find your body. If anything happens, your your body will be attached to the machine. That's why you, they make you tie off and go through all that hell of being in the gear and, and unable to do your tasks and stuff like that. It's so that they can find your body. Isn't that crazy? It's awful. So um, they just keep doing this. They just keep putting more PPP on, on you and more rules on you. And it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. More people get hurt nowadays than they did before because it's all of this stupid safety stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. Don't get me wrong, I believe in safety, all right? You gotta be safe, you gotta be smart, but you gotta take care of yourself, okay? Don't expect anyone else to do it for you. Um, and you gotta know the, your rights and obligations, okay? It's important, okay? The, the legislation is important to understand, okay? Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a full safety officer. I took all the courses, you know? Um, and uh, so, like, I, I know about claims and management and all, and all kinds of stuff, right? But it's crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. If they ever go over, yeah, you're absolutely effed. Um, so the the machines probably won't tip over. Uh, what what would typically happen is the ground the ground could give out. Um, you could be too close to a trench, or you could be on a, you know, like something could happen on the ground, and um, and and you and the machine could lose its footing, right? Um, like say you're clo working close to a trench or something. Um, they and, and I'm telling you, they trench inside of buildings too. They'll cut the concrete. You guys seen it? They cut the concrete to lay new piping down and stuff like that. And so there's trenches everywhere. You know, how do you know that 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 the ground hasn't been compacted properly or there's an air pocket or something? All it takes is a little bit. Like if you're up 30 feet, it only takes like a couple inches even. You know, and you're and you're done for. Like you're done. Um, and yeah, like I said, if that machine goes down, you're screwed. That's why it never made any sense to me why you tie off to the machine. It, it makes more sense to tie off to the building, you know, like to the rafters or something. Because at least if the machine goes down, you're tied up and somebody else can come and get you with another machine, right? Uh, but yeah, you're tied to that machine. You're totally after. You're not, you're not going to survive that, you know? It's crazy. And that lift was big, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So now this is their argument for that. So if if you're up there in the in the roof or whatever, and the machine tips and you're tied off to the roof, the machine could cut you in half. That's what they say, right? So they don't they don't tie off to the thing. But in real realistically, though, I mean, it, that's just you know, that's just that's just ridiculous. That's just crazy talk, man. It's crazy talk. Um, but yeah, no, we need to be safe. We got to be safe guys. It's and this is a stressful job because like we got families and, and things to worry about and um, It's just like, you know, it's crazy My my one of the first jobs I ever worked on two electricians died um, And and it was like literally my, I think it was my first time like my first day on a construction site and In the electrical room something blew up and killed a couple guys. It was it was awful. It was absolutely awful. Look at that. Each year, 9.7 of every 100,000 construction workers suffer a fatal injury, which is the fourth highest rate of any industry. Um, so, and, and all of these high industries are, um, are like, so look at this. Yeah, transportation and warehousing, con look, construction. Construction is the t 
highest. This is the highest. Okay. Um, agricultural, forestry, fishing, government, retail, leisure, hospitality. Right. But yeah, construction is way up here. I don't know why they would say uh, among the four top. It is the top. But yeah, tr can you believe that? Transportation and warehousing, eh? That's crazy. Have you ever seen any of those, like, um, I know we've watched some, like, epic fails where, like, buddies and, like, forklifts and, uh, you know, hit hitting shelves and getting buried and, oh, man, just crazy, right? Um... Yeah, it's crazy. So, um... Yeah, look at this. So construction's fatal four. Yep. Believe it or not, falls and falls from lower heights too, which is which is weird, right? Um, but yeah, struck by an object, caught in or between an object, and electrocution. Crazy, yeah. And this is so true. One point seven percent of construction workers suffer an injury, and I guarantee you that's way higher, way higher than uh, in reality. It's just that they're not reported. Um, then and then 8.5% uh, of all injuries that are lost time right so injury rates in construction are 71% higher than injury rates across all industries on average so 71% higher okay dudes you got to understand like when you're gonna start in construction you got to take this shit seriously okay it's dangerous man dangerous conditions Dangerous um, um, practices, right? Like how we are installing things and, th and whatnot. I was talking to um, a gentleman last night who's, an, who's a veteran in construction like myself. Um, and it's just like, yeah, we just like, man, there's some things like we're, we're doing it and we're like, you know, what the hell are we doing, man? Like, why, what the, why are we doing this? Like, we don't need to do this. But you, you it's crazy because there's always um some part especially with drywall and steel stud okay and uh, there's always something that has to be done or reached or like a, somewhere you can't get at where you got to do something stupid to get to it right and that and i and i do that all the time i don't i don't like the two guys that work for me i don't make them do that shit i do all the dangerous stuff um because i've done it all before and i and i and i just feel better me doing it I, and i don't want them doing it right um 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 Aaron is a little like you know he's getting more comfortable in the lift, but he's not comfortable enough for me to let him do that. Um, and and the, and Lamb is just too careless. He's just crazy, so I don't I don't let him do that shit because I don't I feel like he would be the one to miss something or you know like fall or something you know I, I, I would, that would be awful right. Um, but yeah, look at that. So more than twenty five percent of construction workers indicate that they had failed to report a work-related injury. So that's exactly what I was talking about, right? So each year, 1.7%, again, it's gonna be way higher than that. Trust me, way. So probably 25% higher than that, you know? Um, at least, probably. But yeah, look at that. There's uh, 195, 195, 600,000 case, cases of injuries in construction in 2018 almost 200,000 injuries crazy right I don't like using lifts I can use I can use them but you don't like using them yeah yeah I'm I'm very comfortable on them they're really safe actually um, you could you you gotta I just been driving them for so long I drove my first um, um, Yes, yeah, see there, Joel Elf Alpha. That's exactly it, buddy. They're always, always, always pushing more production. I cannot stand it. It drives me freaking nuts when the the higher ups are like, "When are you gonna be done? When are you gonna be done? When are you gonna be done? Are you gonna be done today? Are you gonna be done today? Are you gonna be done today? Are you gonna be done today?" Oh my fuck! I can't. I just when somebody asks me when I'm gonna be done or when I think I'm gonna be done, I just lose it. Like inside, I don't lose it, but I do inside. I just, just like I want to strangle them because it just drives me fucking nuts, right? So when I when I'm drywalling and I just say when the last screw goes in, I'm done, right? Or or when the when the when the mud is dry, I'm done, right? 
um, that's when I'm done. Okay, you can't predict. You can predict all as much, all fucking all day, all, every day. How if? But you'll never. You can. You almost will never be right because there's just so many unpredictable things that can happen right there's just so much going on like it, it just and your day can get derailed so easily that you know like a piece of equipment could stop working a guy might not show up other trades might come in and, and mess you up um weather um like man lighting air quality noise um stress personal life stress even um, strain, physical strain, like there's all of these things, right? Like that are variables every day, okay? You cannot predict that. So when people ask me, oh, yeah, you're gonna be done today, you're gonna be done today, you're gonna be done today, man, I, I'm gonna tell you when I'm done, okay? Man, it just drives me nuts, man. And even in the union, the union's supposed to be the safest place too, right? But man, it's crazy. Like they, they just, obviously, it's obvious they don't care. Like, it's obvious. Look at the numbers. The numbers don't lie, okay? And 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 that's the thing. Like, it used to be kind of like people didn't report injuries because you don't want to be a wussy or a wimp, right? Well, dudes, man, even if it's a little tiny cut on your finger and you don't report that at, at work before you leave that day and then it gets infected and then you lose your finger, you're screwed. You're screwed. If you don't document it at site before you leave that day, you're screwed. Just a little cut. You, could, you know, just think about that, dude. In warehousing, yeah, I bet you that's got to be different nowadays. The 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 um, the problem with them with the warehouses and stuff like that is um, there's not a lot of oversight, I guess. Or like, I, and, and this is another thing too, guys. Like in all my years, all my years in construction, I don't think I've ever seen OHS inspect a site one time. Never. And all the thousands of sites I've been on, never seen OHNS one time. Okay, I've heard of them. I heard of them taking pictures of something one time, but that's it. I've never seen OH OHNS on a site. Never, ever, ever. Man, and you always got these like um, safety crusaders, I call them, that um, are uh, like just you know making making you wear safety glasses. Uh, gloves and now this stupid masks right all freaking day while you're drywalling are you kidding me you're sweating and you're you got you can't breathe you can't see and and they'll, they'll write you up and kick you off site if you take it off right or if they catch you with it off it's ridiculous 100 percent ppe is way more dangerous than um than than like leaving it to the worker to, to know when to wear them or not it's crazy Man, that is crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, dude. Um, yeah, so I'm just saying, like, I, like we don't, we definitely don't look at construction workers. Like, like I know when I was a kid, we did. Like, we respected them, and we were like, man, they were like, you know, they were awesome. Like, you know, like, they got paid well. They were respected, you know, like, but just nowadays, it just seems like they're just, they want the cheapest labor. They, they would they want us all to be working for pennies and and like you know like um sweatshops you know like china chinese factories are in like basically like they want it they want it to run it like that so they can make money all the rates have gone down all but the owners are making more and more and more right like look at this fatal construction industries are estimated to cost the united states five billion dollars each year in healthcare, lost income, reduced quality of life, and lost production. Man, if they would just slow down and not rush us all the damn time, okay? Like, they're literally behind you, cracking the whip, cracking the whip, cracking the whip. Like, um, if they would just slow down, do things properly, make sure everything's good you know like it would be just so much better so much safer look at that over 60 percent of construction accidents occur within an employee's first year of work so yeah that's what i mean it it, it highlighting the need for proactive high quality training and it's also too like like they they all it's like always like the new and the younger guys who 
Uh, or maybe that in or like the guys 25 to 34 they got something to prove and the they get they get all frustrated like rush they get they get into that when when somebody comes to rush me I don't let them rush me like I used to I used to because I was young and stupid but now it, like I was saying before like man I'm sorry my drywall will be done when the last screw goes in if you don't like how fast I install or do my job then don't call me again for the next one okay so um, I just yeah I don't take any bullshit like that um, we don't rush you know they don't rush my my people um, and I just you know we just we get it done we get it done when it gets done almost always we got a happy client so I mean we're doing we're doing a good job and then so like these these like these this bullshit with the like hurry up and stuff like it's just like it's, it's doesn't do anything it's not gonna change the outcome you know, if anything, it's just making it more dangerous to be on site.